Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science and today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful natural blooming bath oil. This is the product we're going to be making here. As you can see it's totally clear, it looks just like an oil and when we add it to water and give it a little stir, it turns into a beautiful milky solution. So it's perfect for putting into a bath for indulgent luxury soaking. Now to make this product today, I am using a special material called Micromulse LB by Alchemy Ingredients. Now this is really important because it helps create this oil that turns to a milky solution when it comes into contact with the water. Now this Micromulse LB works in a similar way to Sucragel. So if you've never used Sucragel before, please watch my other videos containing Sucragel as well as my video about how to use and fix Sucragel if something goes wrong in the mixing process. Because these products do need to be mixed in a very specific way for the product to turn out just right. Now, normally I would use a propeller mixer and if that's all you have, that's fine. Make sure you use it and set your mixer to a very high RPM speed. I've actually found the mixing of Micromulse LB to be easier if I use my dispersing element. That's this one here. So I'm just gonna set this up and then the next thing I'm going to do is start mixing my product. Now please contact us for the full formulation details. Here I have my Micromulse LB and I have some glycerin. Now it's also important at this point to note that the Micromulse LB is palm free. So if I use a palm free glycerin, I can also make a palm free blooming bath oil. So I have my Micromulse LB and glycerin here. And then here I have my oily phase. Today I've got a combination of sunflower olive and avocado oils and to this I'm just gonna add some Lang Lang essential oil. You could add different types of perfumes or essential oils. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of tocopherol. Now I'm just gonna give this a little stir just to combine my oil phase. And then I'm gonna add this very slowly and in increments to my Micromulse LB and glycerin. Now it's really important to add the oily phase in very small increments, especially at first. And we need to make sure there is thorough mixing between each addition. Once you've added all the oil phase, give it another stir for a good five minutes or so to make sure you've formed a really stable product. Now on the day you make it, it's going to look quite foamy, just like this. But you can see if we spread that out on the glass and all the foam and bubbles was to disperse, it's a nice clear product that we've made. Now it will take a couple of days for all of these bubbles to come out of this beautiful mixture. After about four days you'll have a beautiful clear product just like this one. Now you've probably heard me say it before but method is crucial. It's really crucial when you use the Micromulse product or the Sucragel materials for that matter and you know how much I love those. Remember to watch that video on how to fix and use Sucragel if you've never used it before. The first couple of times can be a little bit tricky, but once you've mastered the technique, you can make these amazing products with these very unique materials. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make a natural blooming bath oil. Please give the video a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. 
Happy formulating!